Hi, my name is Gwen Peterson. I'm a certified independent health coach and presidential director with Optavia. I'm going to be talking today about constipation and gas because this is a very big topic for a lot of people when they start incorporating the correct amount of protein to sustain their muscle mass, whether it's on our program or any other program, and they get constipated because of stuff going on with their gut. So this is part number one. Step one, if you are constipated, you need to get unstuck, right? Um, a lot of people, might go old school laxatives, don't go there. Laxatives get into your bloodstream and become addicting. So does Senna. Go do your research on Senna. Don't believe anything I'm saying in this video. Go do your own research and talk to your medical professional because I'm not a medical professional. But what I do know is Senna is the natural form of a laxative. It absorbs into your bloodstream and guess what I see happen? Just like with regular laxatives, people can't keep their digestive tract moving with that smooth move tea or the senna because it creates the cramping to move it through and that's not what your body is naturally doing, right? So by default, it you get addicted to it. So I worked with a gastroenterologist at our children's hospital with my daughter multiple times now and the first thing that I do, now again, you're not gonna live on something like this forever, Miralax, but this is to just get unstuck. The next parts will be about how to keep staying unstuck without having to use something like this. <clears throat> but the gastroenterologist at our children's hospital said that my eight-year-old could use up to four capfuls a day every day until she had, and this is gonna be TMI, but I'm not above it, um, is that you are you want to be having a minimum of one to two bowel movements every day that are not smooth. Because if they're smooth, you're still constipated. So you want it to look like a piece of hair under a microscope, like kind of a little splintery. So what I normally tell people is, throw a cap full of this in, in your shake in the morning. If you don't notice much movement, maybe do a shake in, at lunchtime, do another capful. Don't go over four a day. Um, and But by the way, reminder, if you go get a colonoscopy, they have you drink an entire bottle of this in one day. So what I know is this is safe-ish, but this is step one to just get unstuck so you can then do the next stages of how to actually keep your gut moving. That's why I start with this to get to a baseline and then we do some of the other things that I'll talk about in the part two, three, maybe four or five, because I know this is a hot topic and this has become my life. So um, pause and go watch part two.